Hi there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, for those of you who know me, welcome again and thank you for your support and for anybody who's passing through for the first time. Yeah, um, you're welcome to take a listen and if you like what you hear, you click the thumbs up. If you don't like what I'm saying, you click the thumbs down and if you want to share it, you can. And if you want to subscribe, you can do that too. That ensures that you get everything that I'm doing. Um, I tend to vlog um, maybe every other day. Sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's three times a day. I'm working on a project at the moment, so I'm going to be out of circulation for a couple of weeks probably because I'm not quite sure if I can access Wi-Fi and plus I really want to focus on the project I'm doing so I'm not quite sure if you're going to get a video within the next two weeks but at least you've had a warning and you won't think oh what's happened to Black Bright where is she so yes yeah, so I'm just giving you a little warning but you know I was looking at the newspaper the other day and not even the other day I think it was just two days ago I noticed that they've had a change with regard to the type of cars and um, the tax, the tax exemptions. Now I thought I I just I changed my car from uh, two thousand and fifth no two thousand and thirteen to two thousand and sixteen because we were told last year that. Any car, well, it was actually the diesel car that was older than 2015, yeah, 2015, would be subject to these um, tax and goodness knows what else. So I played it safe. I decided to get a petrol car. That was 2016, which should have set me straight. I should have been okay. Anyway, I've just looked at this newspaper article and I'm going to have to read it because it might make more sense to you than it does to me, but I think we've been diddled. I think the majority of us, whether you've bought an electric car or whether you've moved from diesel to petrol, you have been diddled because now they're increasing it from what I understand, I might have got it wrong, to the year to cars um, less than 2017. Now, that is taking the P. What are they trying to do? Drive us off the road? 2017. That's two years old. How many people are going to be able to afford a 2017 car now? Especially with Thomas Cook. Oh, my God. So it's finally gone under. But I'm just thinking about the job losses and the impact. It's going to be worse DWP is going to be worse. every, And it's so sudden. It doesn't even give you a chance to repair. And do you notice that these things always happen before Christmas? Anyway, I'm going off the point. I'm not supposed to be talking about Thompson Cook and jobs at the moment. But yeah, um, these cha changes are for cars older than 2017. I'll put the link in. Drivers who still need to renew their car tax will be faced with an increased vehicle excise duty costs after new prices were launched in April. So that's a few months ago, but maybe I, maybe I did that video before April. Time flies. To confuse things, cars are divided into two groups based on their date of registration, with vehicles split between whether they hit the roads before or after the 31st of March 2017. You will recall, oh, that's my bit. Cost, pro, cost rises are therefore different compared to which type of vehicle or fuel you're running, leaving some drivers confused as to what prices they should be paying. The increase in costs will be used to fund the government promised 30 billion worth of road improvements. Have you seen the roads, please? Have you seen them? The M1, the M25. I mean, I had to report the M25. There was a great big split in the bloody road. So I don't know what roads they're doing. Anyway, old vehicles. 
highly polluting vehicles built before the 31st of March 2017 will see rises of either £10 or £15 in 2019. Well, I'll tell you something, I've seen some cars with some black smoke gushing out. I don't know how old they are. Petrol and diesel cars with the highest pollution could now be paying rates up to 570 a year for their road tax compared to last year's sum of 555. Don't you think about it, it's £25 extra for the year. I mean, it might hit some people hard, but £25 extra a year is not that bad. £2 a week? £2 a month or something. Yeah, £2 a month. So £50, 50p a week. Um, so vehicles built after 31st of March 2017, the new system charges a certain rate for the first year which is linked to carbon dioxide. CO2 emission levels. This rate changes from zero for vehicles which produce no emissions to more than 2,000 for the 2,000 pounds for the most polluting models. Vehicles built after the cutoff date, which is the 31st of March 2017, will see also see increases with petrol and diesel drivers also set for hikes on their annual costs. They're really trying to drive us to the ground, aren't they? Really. New cars. Owners of brand new vehicles are also in the firing line and are set for the biggest increase in tax costs this year. New vehicles costs have rose by £65 for the highest polluting vehicles, which can now be charged up to £2,000 for the first year based on CO2 output. But I would have thought, if it's a brand new car, there shouldn't be any CO2 emissions. I mean, those bloody emissions that they're talking about. They shouldn't be high polluting. Because I thought, after 2015, that they had to build them up to Euro 6. So I don't understand what this is about. Not unless they're talking about people who buy, like, Lamborghinis just to show off and maybe they're high polluting. I don't know. Anyway, electric cars. For those people who bought electric cars, electric cars under 40,000. Can you imagine? Are completely exempt from paying any road tax and are perfect options for those on a budget. £40, pound, like £40,000 for the perfect option for those on a budget. What planet are they on? Who's got £40,000? Electric car for under £40,000, you don't pay any road tax. Yippee! Well, if you can afford £40,000, I'm sure you don't even mind the road tax. These cars are also free from paying London ULEZ prices. That's the ultra low emission zone, um, which is coming out, what are we now? September, March 2020, I think they said it's coming out when they're widening it outside Greater London. And so anybody driving in those areas are going to have to pay £10 extra, £10 a day or something. Just look up ULEZ. Put your um, vehicle number in it. It'll give you an opportunity and you can see whether or not you are um, going to be exempt from paying that £10 a day if you're in London. Don't get it confused with LEZ, which is the low emission zone, but it's not as wide at the moment. It just goes around the congestion areas, you know, like the congestion charge. It's equivalent to those. But as of March next year, it's going to widen. So you have to, and they're calling that the ultra low emission zone. So you have to be aware of that distinction when you're thinking about, but I think as long as your car is a Euro 6, I think you'll be okay. Um, these cars are also free from paying London ULEZ prices and make EV a good choice for commuters 
or those regularly travelling into the capital. But drivers are reminded that they must still apply for tax exemption every year to avoid being billed. So apparently, I'm glad I saw that because I don't pay any tax at the moment on my car. But I wouldn't have thought that I would have to report it. it reminds me, when is it due? Hmm, I'm going to have to check that. Because when you don't pay it, you think, oh, well, you don't really worry about it. But I've got a funny feeling. I might, have, I might be due to at least apply for tax exemption. I've got to find that out. You see, that's how they can catch people out, you know. Anyway, um, diesel cars, drivers of diesel vehicles are worse affected than their petrol counterparts and need to pay added costs due to higher emissions. The new real driving emissions two standard applies to new cars registered after the 1st of April 2018. And those failing to meet the strict requirements have faced heavy fines. So I don't know what this new real driving emissions two standard. You better look that up folks. Because to be honest, I just read this and otherwise I would have looked it up and included it in the video. But So that's the real driving emissions 2 standard. You need to look that up. Um, it applies to cars registered after the 1st of April 2018. So mine's, mine's definitely not within that. Some owners would charge almost £500 more in road tax for their first year as they were pushed into a higher tax band. Westminster City Council launched a new diesel surcharge cost in August, which will see additional parking fees of up to £2.45 an hour. So, I think that's it, folks. Politicians are also pushing for a pavement parking ban to be extended across the entire country after their reports claim vulnerable residents have been trapped inside their homes. What a bloody load of crap. Why don't they just say they want to make more money? But, you know, people have been trapped inside their homes. I mean, not unless people are blocking their driveways, but that's totally different. That pavement parking ban... You know, in Bedfordshire, you don't pay for, you know, you can park on the pavement. But I don't see how that stops anybody from getting out unless you're blocking their driveway, which is a fence anyway. So it can't be that. Ah, oh, they, they make you sick, don't they? All well, their bloody ways of making money off of us. Anyway, that's all for now. Take care and remember, I might be out of circulation for a couple of weeks unless I can access it in the midst of my project. Okay? That's all for now. Bye-bye.